What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you my keybinds and settings on Destiny 2 on PC. It's been out for a few days and I've found what I like. I've changed up a bit from beta. And yeah, let's get right into this. Let's show you guys my settings. So, starting off with controls. I use 10 and 0.7. Obviously this is his personal preference. I probably, in the long run, will probably make my ADS a little bit lower, maybe a 0.6, adjust over time. And the rest of this stuff is just the default stuff, controller, whatever. Key mapping for all the direction controls are the same. I don't have highlight player binding because, you know, what's highlight player even do? Kappa. Emote 1 is up. These are all default, but I have emote 3, which is your special one, the one you can actually equip. I have that one 5. And push to talk is on Y, which I almost never talk in game chat so far. So, And return to orbit is F. And fire, obviously, mouse one, reload R, melee. I have it on my. I have two buttons on the side of my mouse, so I have it on the top button on the side where your thumb can hit. And hold zoom. Obviously, right click. Light attack, heavy attack, which are for swords. Default left and right. And you can bind toggle zoom, if you want, but a lot of people like hold zoom. Block. I don't have a key binding as of now. Because it should be your melee button, but you can't set two keybinds as the same thing, which they need to fix. Because when you have your sword out, you can't melee. So you should be able to have your melee be something when you're using a sword. But, you know, these are very basic keybinds and they need to really, they need to put some work into it. Jump sp spacebar, like for example, jump, I'd love to have it on scroll wheel up also and jump at the same time. Like if there's two keybinds, like this is default and your secondary keybind, that'd be amazing. But it's not like that. Hold shift, some people like to hold shift, but a lot of people don't, so toggle is shift. Same thing with crouch, it's control, some people like hold. Class ability I have C. Then air move I have on X. Interact is the bottom side mouse button, so my thumb, the top one is melee and the bottom one is interact, and interact is like scanning uh, objects and putting out your ghost and whatnot, reviving, all that stuff. So you want it on your mouse so you don't have to like move one of your hands off one of the direction keys to put out your ghost or revive or anything. So you can just move, move around while reviving, putting out your ghost and whatnot. Grenade is on E, super is on Q. And my kinetic, my weapons, I have it on 1, 3, and 4. Now the reason I skipped number 2 is because most time when I'm switching weapons, let's say in a speedrunner or something, I'm running forward, and obviously your uh, middle finger is on W, and the, to hit number 2 you need your middle finger. So instead of using number 2, I just went 1, 3, and 4. So my, my uh, finger to the left of the middle finger hits 1, and my index finger hits 3 and 4. And that's also why the emote is 5. And switch weapon is where it, it's like old school, switching between your primary and uh, secondary weapon. If you like that, you can keep on that to like 3. You can, instead of having change the energy on 3, you could have switch weapon on 3, and it'll just switch between these two. And with vehicle, these are all default, I believe. Primary weapon is left click. E is like for tanks when you shoot like the little uh, cluster rockets or whatever, that's E. Zoom is right click, break is uh, shift, uh, shift I believe. The next vehicle is spacebar which is the same, it's just your jump. Show text chat, chat is T, deploy, deploy ghost tab. Okay now this, this is where it gets interesting, this is like one of my favorite parts. Open directory, directory I have on G which is um like destinations, the planet, and your roster. An open character I have on B. Then this I have on B, which I don't really use that much. Because you can access all of these through this and this. And just use A and D to uh, get to whichever section of the menu you actually want. Alright, let's go to the video. As you see, I only have a 1063 gig. I might upgrade it eventually. But you always want to run on full screen for the most part, because this game runs very poorly on windowed. Then resolution, whatever your monitor is, probably 1080p. V-Sync, you should probably have V-Sync off on this game. Because what it does is, let's say you have your, uh, 
your monitor is a 144 hertz monitor and you have vsync on the second you drop from 144 frames it goes to 72 fps there's no in between so like right now i have 192 but let's say that dropped to 143 it with vsync on it wouldn't display 143 it would cut it to 72. so vsync is absolutely terrible in this game do not use it Field of view is if you guys know what field of view is Basically, if you're new to PC gaming, you want to crank this up. Eventually, you'll um, get used to it and just crank it up like five every time. Brightness is all default stuff. Screen balance, I always have it on the smallest possible. That way, you don't have to look as far to see your uh, or your uh, weapons and ability charges and all that. And all all this uh, video stuff is all on default. I'll just quickly go over it so you can see. It's mostly all on high. And I average probably like over 100 frames in the EDZ. I might drop in like the 80s and 90s, but that's fine with me for now. And uh, volume I'm on three because you know Destiny's hella loud with a Astro Mix amp. Not muted, not muted. Push the talk on blah blah. blah. Gameplay I have Green Radical because YOLO. Helmet always on because my person's ugly. Uh. Full battle talks. You want this off and this off, or else whenever, if you're like streaming or recording and someone sends you a message, it'll actually say their full name if you have them added, which is not good. FPS display on. All this stuff is normal. Actually, I need to turn that off. Turn that off. Unless you like memes and like whatnot, turn it on. I believe all this stuff is default. Yep. So this is also where you can change character and exit desktop if you don't like hit escape. And uh, let me go ahead and show you. So, for example, when I pull up my ghost, F is to go to orbit, which is nice so you don't have to reach or change your hands or anything like that. And summon vehicle is my interact button, which is on my mouse, so I don't have to move at all. I can be holding forward, I can be holding to the side, I can be holding back. I can move wherever I want while I'm doing that. And also, I press G, opens directory. Well, first off, map, then destinations. If you hit D, then roster, hit D again, then V opens up my character, go down, go sideways to your inventory, you go sideways to settings. So that's basically with between those two buttons you can basically get wherever anything in your settings that you ever wanted. So uh, on one I have my kinetic, three I have energy, on that I have that, and five is my emote. And one other thing, which they don't have in the keybinds anywhere, which they need to add is when you're on your sparrow, you know how you can side boost left and right. Nowhere in your settings does it say how to do that or lets you keybind it. So it took us like a hot 10 minutes to figure it out, pressing literally every key on our keyboard multiple times. But if you double tap A or double tap D, you go left or right. So if you double tap A, you go left. If you double tap D, you go right. Now in theory, it doesn't sound that bad, but there's times where it just doesn't work. And also, the fact you have to press a key twice to do it is very bad, and they need to add a keybind. Because let's say you're speedrunning, and you're trying to quickly like boost multiple times. Like, why do I have to press a key twice every time to do one thing? Like, it should be a one-to-one -one input to um, output ratio, not a two-to-one ratio. That's like terrible for gaming. And I don't know why they don't have it so you can keybind it. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Now's the time to like start using weird keybinds. Get something that you like. Get do something that's uncomfortable that makes sense in the long run once you get used to it. Because you want to learn what makes the most sense now and not learn something that's bad and get used to it. Anyways, thanks for watching. And once I'm done leveling all that, I'll return back to like normal videos. Obviously, I'm just leveling right now. Probably will have a I'll probably solo the prestige nightfall this week if I get lucky on PC. It just depends on if I get over 300 light before reset with a good exotic or whatever. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.